it's not always about somebody being sinful it's just that some people are difficult and when you've been through something that's why you don't run from somebody that's been through something because God prepares people by putting them through a whole lot of stuff you went through is God preparing you for your lifetime mate all of them years you going through and somebody judging you by your past don't let nobody judge you by the experience God has given you because at the end of the day they're going to get the blessing out of all the tears you cried down through the years of your life oh I feel like dancing in here Oh, don't judge me because I've been there. I, I wish I could talk to y'all. Brothers. I could go crazy right about now. Y'all better turn them cameras off. Noel Jones Valentine's special video. Happy Valentine's Day. People, love is a beautiful thing. Finding that special someone who fits you like a glove is such a blessing. The cream in your coffee, the butter on your toast, so amazing. This Valentine's Day we can celebrate with Bishop Noel Jones and his love Loretta. Countless people around the world have been celebrating with Bishop Jones and have been rejoicing with him and Loretta. For the countless years that Bishop has been serving us through the Word, we just have to say thank you. Bishop Jones is 72 years young and is a romantic at heart. He showed his love to Loretta and the two will be celebrating together like many couples around the world this Valentine's Day. Currently wedding plans are underway, and although a specific date hasn't been shared, we are all looking forward to that wonderful day. Bishop Jones has made it clear throughout his career, as a preacher that he wants people to recognize that he is a man, just like any other man, and that he should be viewed as such. There have been countless people around the world showing love towards Noel and his partner. A multitude of well-wishers ranging from a simple congratulations to advising that Bishop Jones and his ministry have transformed their life. Many men and women have chosen to follow Jesus Christ due to the teaching and preaching ministry of the bishop. Nevertheless there have been a few detractors that are against the L.A. pastor's upcoming union with Loretta. This brings up a concern as many Pharisees, who don't understand grace, or the word are judging Bishop Noel. Nevertheless this is not of much concern as Bishop is indeed a true Bishop, who puts the Word of God and others before his own selfish desires. During the pandemic Bishop Noel Jones has supported thousands of people in his area as well as many more believers and seekers throughout the United States. For his kindness and grace so many people are grateful and are celebrating with him and his wife-to-be. Bishop Noel Jones and Loretta demonstrate 1 Corinthians 13 so wonderfully. People have had a lot of questions around how long it took for them to get engaged. But forget that love is patient and long-suffering. The two took their time to come to the decision of marriage, but have done so in efforts to ensure that they made a good decision. In addition, love is kind, and both Bishop Noel Jones and Loretta have demonstrated kindness towards each other and towards the community that they are called to serve. We just love their spirit of kindness and recognize that they are two people that demonstrate agape love. Bishop Noel Jones and Loretta have been blessed tremendously and have not been envious of other people's relationship. On Preachers of LA they demonstrated class and continue to do so, even after their proposal. They are a humble power couple who have been criticized by a small group of single non-Christian women who themselves are envious of Loretta and her Prince Charming. The purpose of this video is to thank all those who have been praying for and supporting Bishop Noel Jones in this time of celebration. Let us continue to encourage this young couple and to ignore the spirit of jealousy that has arisen from a diminutive group of non-Christian lonely women and spiritual Pharisees. Instead of arguing with those who try to use the Bible as a weapon, let us rejoice with Bishop Noel Jones and continue to look to him and other spiritual giants for training in scripture and righteousness. We should take tips from Bishop Noel Jones and Loretta on how to connect with your partner this Valentine's Day. We must be more patient, more kind, and put our partners before ourselves. 
much like the bishop and his fiancée. We must also never let those outside of our relationships speak evil into our relationships. Don't listen to lonely and unhappy women who are single and some are very angry at men. Be happy and appreciate friends and family who support you and love you. If you are single learn from Bishop and Loretta to wait for your partner by growing and being a person of grace and love. If you are already in a relationship enjoy this day with your partner and love them with all your heart. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with the might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, length, depth, the depth, 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 and height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. I want to talk a little bit about the power of love. The power of love. Now, Charles Wesley says, God only knows the love of God, or that it now was shed abroad in this poor stony heart." Unquote. I will open by saying something about love that is essential to our relationship to God and our relationship to each other. Because at the end of the day, everything we're about is relationship. Relationship to God relationship to self and then relationship to others and that's all this marvelous walk with God is about is relationship I really don't understand who I am or get any insight as the kind of person I am until I meet God it is in my meeting with God that he gives me a revelatory experience of not only who he is but who I am it, it's it's very critical to my walk because unless I become good for myself then I can't be good for anybody else and so constantly my walk has been one of disruption my walk have been has been one when I came into this world my walk has been one of confusion and the experiences that I went through have left me with some issues or some stains that unless I have a meeting with God and I bring he brings these issues to forbear in my consciousness then I have now become a bundle of my past experiences and I bring all of my negatives to the table thinking that I am quite all right because the devil is a deceiver. Now, now understand this, that whenever you're in the hand of a master, the master who molds and shapes you is not putting you through experiences without a purpose but he wants you to go through these experiences and as you go through these experiences it leaves an indelible stain on who you are and who you become unless you run into a counterforce you see when I meet the Lord he becomes the counterforce and he begins to put things in me that offset and contradicts those things that I received as I was walking outside of God. Because Satan is trying to mold and shape me from without. And God has to come now and restructure me from within. In order to do that now, he has to bring the spiritual into the cognitive. He has to deal with my mind because there is no way for me to change my behavior unless I change my mind 
uh, I don't have the time to deal uh, with preachers, we got a few preachers here, but I uh, don't deal with time with the whole concept of psychological preaching as opposed to philosophical preaching. Because philosophical preaching, we have done it for years in philosophical teaching, and we have established what we believe, and we've tried to convince people to believe what we believe, and this has led us to a plethora of denominational attitudes. Uh, if you notice, ministries that are blossoming and growing, ministries that are impacting, do not deal philosophically, but psychologically. Because after you have been baptized and after you have found the Holy Spirit or received the Holy Spirit in a philosophical presentation, depending on what that denomination believes, you now have to grow. And in order to grow, you have to change your mind. And this is why you're gathered here in this setting not because we're trying to get saved or because we want to hear some philosophical position as to whether or not we are saved. We're here because we need a mind change. We need therapy in this session to offset the issues that we brought into our relationships so that we can see clearly who we are because until I know who I am, I sure can't deal with who you are.